the Justice Department should bring charges against Mr. Trump, was the unanimous vote of the Democratic-led committee. A fresh video of former Trump advisor Hope Hicks warning him about his legacy was also shown on the panel. On January 6, 2021, Trump loyalists stormed Congress and prevented Joe Biden from being sworn in as president. Trump, who insists he did nothing wrong, attacked the panel in a statement, calling it a kangaroo court, the House of Representatives Select Committee. Recommended that Mr. Trump face four charges at their final hearing on Monday after spending almost 18 months examining the disturbance, provoking, encouraging, enabling, or consoling an uprising, obstructing a government process, conspiracy to defraud the United States false statement conspiracy, the Justice Department does not have to act on a recommendation from a congressional committee, in fact, its prosecutors are currently debating whether to charge Mr. Trump, the chairman referred to the proposed charges as a roadmap to justice. Despite the fact that the panel's actions were primarily symbolic, on Monday, a representative for the Justice Department declined to comment on the referral, Rep. Jamie Raskin, a Democrat from Maryland who sits on the committee, defined an insurrection as a rebellion against American authority, it is a serious federal offense that is grounded in the Constitution. The 161-page executive summary was first released by the panel's seven Democrats and two Republicans on Monday, in the lead. Up to the Capitol disturbance as well as during the riot. It accused Mr. Trump of engaging in a multiple conspiracy to undermine the will of the voters, according to the House Committee. Mr. Trump pushed for the reversal of his loss by lobbying state officials, the Justice Department, and his own vice president after spreading rumors that he knew were untrue about the 2020 presidential election being rigged. In a last-ditch effort to prevent the peaceful transition of power to Mr. Biden, the panel charges him of inciting the unrest at Congress. On Wednesday, the comprehensive report's hundreds of pages are expected to be made public. Longtime Trump supporter Hope Hicks claimed in a new video from the panel's deposition on Monday that she had advised Mr. Trump and his campaign to stop making false claims about the election because they were destroying his legacy, she alleged Mr. Trump had dismissed her worries. She stated that the then Republican president had said something to the effect that if I lose, nobody would care about my legacy, therefore that won't matter, winning is the only thing that matters, Ivanka Trump a former White House assistant and the president's eldest daughter, was also criticized by the committee for not being forthcoming with investigators, Ms. Trump and the press secretary for the White House. Kaylee McEnany displayed a lack of full recollection of key subjects or were not otherwise as candid or forthright, the report stated, the committee was charged with holding show trials by never-Trump partisans who are a disgrace on this country's history, according to a statement from Mr. Trump's presidential campaign, which he launched last month, this kangaroo court has been nothing more than a vain endeavor that demeans the intelligence of Americans and discredits our democratic system. Additionally, the committee announced that it would report for Republican members of Congress, including Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, to the House Ethics Committee for disobeying its orders, the committee's chairman, Mississippi Democrat Benny Thompson, declared that such an incident can never happen again if we are to remain as a society of laws and democracy. If the faith is shattered, then our democracy is ruined. Donald Trump shattered that trust, added he, the Capitol riot has been linked to more than 900 charges.